David here, weekly week looks today, Saturday 21st of April, 6.42 a.m. in the morning. Market is obviously closed. Looking at the uh, November 2018 New Crop Wheat Chart UK, we've got the yearly chart in front of us. We can identify this green, big green candle here through the month of April. This is was March where we had the red and this is obviously February. We can see there we've got sort of like a uh, range forming here. Uh, close at 146.75. Uh, let's have a look down at the monthly. I've drawn this um, square around these three candles here. We can see the positive month here, February, March. We can see the reversal, and now we're coming back with the green candle here. And we tested the swing eye here. Uh, let's hop down into the weekly. We can see the swing high here on the weekly 147. We can see we had a positive close uh, on Friday and a positive week. We can see volume has got a positive. We're above the 60 SMA on the weekly. We've drawn a sort of fault, um, uh, a trend line in here. We can see the markets going up for the, the past four weeks, uh, but we still haven't closed above on a weekly basis. Swing high here, 147.50. Pop down the all important. Oh, I've just done this one uh, daily. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this was an Elliott wave count on the current uh, wheat market at the present moment. And we can see here that we've got a one wave up here, seven pound a ton. This correction wave we came down here in March 142. And this is on Thursday's close. We were breaking above the swing high here. So on a wave three target, the first target comes in at 153 and wave five comes in at 164. So those to keep in the back of our mind if we do get a break up and we do the first obviously the swing high here at 150. Let's pop down into the daily. We can uh, see here we've got this swing high here at 150. This was back in last October of last year. Uh, we've identified three sell signals. We had the one uh, the beginning part of this week. Uh, this was when the closing price popped below the 10 SMA. The market had failed to break through 147. Came down here and gave us a, a confirmation of closing below the 10 SMA, but reversed it quickly the next two days and in fact closed above the swing high here 147. So that sort of negates the sell signal we have. We've now got a buy signal. We've got a swing high here, higher than uh, uh, the previous low at 142. The market is above the 60 SMA and closed above this 146 level. We have got divergence on the stochastic. That means the price is going up, but they're not, you know, they're not the momentum at the present moment. I've drawn a rough flag here uh, in place, a sort of consolidation area that we've got in place at the present moment. At the moment, I would have to say that with this fail move down and we're above the 60 SMA and we're testing a swing high, I would have to take put my hat in the corner of, of uh, we're still potential to go up and find this, uh, test this resistance at 150. So I'd err on the on the move up at the present moment, but obviously if we come down and take out the, probably this 46, 45 level, then we could see a retest at 142. But at the moment I'm erring on the side of the market holding here, pushing again to test this 147 and break out and go and test 150. But I'll put an update this time next week. Thanks for watching.